Hello everybody, welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are playing Space Agency. Today is mission number 12, the Solar Probe. Let us go check our briefing. So, for mission 12, Solar Probes, our objectives are to put Solar Probe Alpha into orbit around the sun. Point Alpha's shield towards the sun. Put Solar Probe Beta into orbit around the sun. Point Beta's shield towards the sun. Our budget is $22 million. And our max time allowed is 12 minutes, 0 seconds. Our scientists believe the sun is cooling more rapidly than anticipated. To further study this, two probes have been built, named Alpha and Beta. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to put both probes into orbit around the sun, labeled as Navicomp Sol. To get to Sol, you will first need to travel to the purple planet, Navicomp Purr. From Purr, you will be able to get to Sol. To prevent the probe sensors from damage, make sure that the probes are left orbiting with their gold reflective heat shields facing the sun. Time is extremely limited on this mission. You will need to come up with a clever solution to fit all the work into the time available. So for the gold award on this mission, we must complete the mission with spending less than $22 million, which 20, 22 million, 22 million is the budget. Okay. So, hmm. Interesting. So we, we have our whole budget available to us on this one. And we have a time of 10 minutes, zero seconds. And we must not use any checkpoints. So let us go to our vehicles here. First, we will check our payload. So we have some nice green payloads here, some medium stage, medium sized payloads. And hmm, what do I have here? I have the black arrow. Black arrow. What do I want to use? What do I want to use? Let's see what's going on. Oh, but I only have one large tug module here. But this would work for one of them. And then the Arians 5, 20, I have 22 million, so this is, this is too expensive. This is too expensive anyway. Hmm. What if, what if I get rid of this, keep the Arians? All right, and we can put a small connector on here. And not the payload. I'm, I want my. I can use the heavy tug. This is a. This is also too expensive. Hmm. Let's. You know what? Let's do small stage. All right. So. We will use the long march. And with the long march, we do not need a connector. Because it's meant, it's actually meant to connect directly to the second stage here, just like this. But uh, we aren't going to use the second stage of this rocket. We don't need it. Not for this mission, at least. So we will use the heavy module. And we are going to need boosters on this one. Ooh, but it only makes it 72%. So let's go with Alpha. That brings us back down to 70%. And then we're going to need a standard fairing. And that brings us to 69%. And our cost is 8,675,000 for this one. So I'm going to go all in. And I'm going to assume that these will work. Doing that, doing that, that brings us to a total cost of uh, 
let's see, that's three, so 50, so 17,350,000, which is below our 22 allotted. So if we use this rocket, if it works, we will be all set to complete the gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch it and then immediately back out. And like I said, I'm going all in on this design. So I'm going to put myself another long march and another heavy module and then put my solid boosters on of the long march kind and solar probe beta and yes we have another fairing all right so we have four million six hundred and fifty thousand dollars left so we are saving the space agency quite a bit of money here all right so now it is time for the launch i think we're ready for this one all right, let's skip ahead. Five, and at four, four seconds, we are three, going to launch start. the boosters. Booster and then off. once we get up to speed, we're going to want to pulse on this, I believe. Because I don't want to run out of juice in the second stage here. This is, this is a medium stage uh, payload, so it's going to be That's very top heavy. I don't really think I want to be pulsing that much for the second portion of this launch. I think I want to keep it fairly steady, so we'll save. Yeah, okay, so we'll kind of pulse a little bit here, and we will save our juice, and we'll just do some solid boosting to the end of this so we don't get any rotation in this rocket because that would be bad. Rotation is bad when it comes to launching rockets. Alright, and we're going to need to separate the rocket really quickly here because we want to go to purple. Yes, here it is. So here's purr. Oop, we're a little early, but that's fine. That's fine. We can, we can do this. We want to go the other way. There we are, just like this. And Purr is very far away. So once we once we get to full 180 degree rotation, we're actually gonna speed up a little bit. Alright. And Purr was what, 900 meters from home or something like that? So once we get to once we get to probably 500, oh, I said meters, 500 units, because meters is not correct here. Once we get to 500 units, I will go and launch the second module, because we are very short on time. So we want to be multitasking as much as possible. So having two units in flight at the same time will complete this mission in the allotted time period. So we are just about there. This is this is probably close enough. So let's go launch our second five, and we will launch four, it five three, two, or three or four or something. These rockets are pretty good. I like the long march rockets. They're just expensive. I mean if you're gonna use a long march, why wouldn't you just go through and use a medium stage rocket at that point? But they do come in handy every so often, like right now, where you need to launch a heavy payload, but you just just don't have enough of a budget to make the medium stage rocket. The Black Arrow is very helpful, but it's you know a little bit more costly for a very similar performance. All right, so we will we will pulse a little bit, and then like right here, right about here, no. Right about here, yeah, this is it. We'll just continue going steady here. Approaching then we will reach space. Nice and easy. Nice and easy here. Alright, and then we'll separate our fairing. fairing set. And separate set. our first stage. And go. Ooh, this is perfect. I don't even know if I'm going to have to readjust. Just a little bit. That's fine. Right about there. Okay, and we will rotate this one 180 degrees also. 
Alright, so right about there. And then I can speed this one up. Boom, there we are. And now, now I need to go. Where are we? So it took me 200 units to get that into space. So that means that I am approximately 600 units between the two modules. All right, so now that we are getting closer to the planet of Purr, of purple, we're kind of off a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine, because we're going perfectly into orbit around Purr. So we have 92 units. So let's slow ourselves down to just below the escape velocity here. Like, right there is perfect. You can see the sliver of black between the uh, red speed. And then from here, we'll go around once. And then we're going to hit our reverse thrusters. Boom. And now we are going to Sol. One, two, three. This is quite far, but that's okay. That's fine. We should be heading perfectly towards Seoul right now. And then we'll speed right back up. And we still have plenty of fuel. And where are we? 100 from Purr. And then this other one's 300 from Purr. So, okay. So, we have a little bit less space between us now, it looks like. So, we're gonna... We're going to check up on this guy here, and we're coming in to purr, and I think we're going to be fine. We're a little bit to the outside of the planet right now, but that's okay. That's fine. We can do this. We may have to readjust, but we're fine. Yes. Yes, we have to readjust. Okay, so once we have readjusted, we'll readjust our angle. Yes, so now we are coming in on the planet perfectly, so let's slow it down. And we're just below the escape velocity from the planet. And there's Sol. So we will get ourselves ready, because just like the other one, we want to go around one time, and then as we come into the correct angle for Sol, we are going to hit our reverse thrusters to send ourselves hurtling towards a Sol. And right about now. Ooh, that's, that is, that is like perfect. Okay. Okay, so we'll get back up to speed on this one. Now, we need to go check in 380 from Seoul. So, we're still pretty good on this one. The sun, or Seoul, is extremely large in both size and its uh, gravitational pull. So, getting into orbit around Seoul is fairly easy as long as you are at least, you know, semi-accurate with your launch. So, from here, I think we should be good. Yeah, we gotta be good. We gotta be good. This is, this is perfect. The other thing we want to do is we want to make sure that these rockets are coming in to the orbit at different distances, because if they both come in at the same distance, then, you know, knowing my luck, I'm going to run them into one another. Alright, so we're going to slow ourselves down here. And because I am the type of guy I am, I want to make this go almost, you know, almost falling towards the planet. I want it to be nice and slow orbit around the sun. There we are. We're in orbit. We're waiting for the return. There we are. It's a nice, stable orbit. So we will eject the tug module. Now, second one. We are heading towards the sun still. We are still, like, right perfect on track to hit this. That's awesome. So I'm going to take a quick stop at our briefing, and so we have put the solar probe Alpha into orbit, and we have pointed its shields towards the sun, so that objective, oops, that objective is complete. So now, solar probe Beta, we are 
almost there. Just about there. It's... No, I gotta use my main thrusters. I was gonna say it's almost close enough that I could use the side thrusters to slow myself down, but I don't want to risk running out of fuel at the last second. That would not be good. So instead, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna be patient, because patience is a virtue, and I am not really patient. Okay, but we have found orbit. We are coming into the orbit around the sun perfectly. We will slow ourselves down just like this. Almost the same speed as alpha, and then we will rotate. Okay, so we are almost 180 degrees around the sun from solar probe alpha, which is over there. So not quite, but pretty close. So we're actually just going to kind of launch, and here is gold. Well, that was fast. We didn't even have to wait. It's just like, boom, let it go. Hey, congratulations, gold medal. All right, everyone. So we have got the gold award in six minutes and 54 seconds with a total cost of 17 million. I think it was 350,000. 17 million, 350,000. Yeah, that's got to be right. And this mission is complete. So next time when we come back, we will refresh the crew at the station because they've been out there for a while by themselves and you know, we can't have that. They must be missing their people on the Earth. Not to mention, you know, the whole time paradox and stuff like that. We can't have that happening. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, so thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zira. This is the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have yourself a wonderful night.